Is there at least one thing they have in common? Rappers Drake and Kendrick Lamar are at odds with one another. According to the New York Times, their epic verbal battle is comprised of full-bore acrimony and unverifiable accusations. The rapid-fire release of multiple songs littered with attacks regarding race, appropriation, sexual and physical abuse, body image, misogyny, hypocrisy, generational trauma, and more, the Times said, detailing the rhymer's verbal sparring over the weekend. But insiders are talking about a variety of tensions that exist behind closed doors, and agent represents both rappers. Booking agency Brent Smith of Wasserman Music represents both of them. We would speculate that Smith could combine the two for a successful diss tour, but the dispute seems too deep. Is he taking sides? Questioned a chuckling rival agency. Rolling calls must be strange, we suppose. The competitor tunes have amassed millions of streams, so perhaps he's laughing all the way to the bank. In a song, Kendrick Lamar referred to Drake as a certified pedophile. Drake responded by rapping, I never been with no one underage, before launching an attack on Lamar's fiance, Whitney Alford. In a verse, Lamar further claimed that Drake had a secret daughter, a claim that the rival rapper refuted. Beginning on Friday night, when Drake answered with a song that lasted almost eight minutes to two recent diss tracks from Kendrick Lamar, the intense feud broke out. Lamar published another lyrical broadside a few hours later, and then another the next day. At last, for the time being, Drake responded on Sunday evening. Both the LA and Toronto rappers are well known outside of their local communities. Drake holds the record for most songs to debut at number one on the Hot 100 chart, and Kendrick Lamar is a Pulitzer Prize winner. Smith, for his part, spent 20 years as a partner at WME before joining Casey Wasserman's business in 2021. He never responded to us.